Got to jump into the game. So let's go ahead, toss it over to your casters, James Bott and Lawler. Take it away. Thanks, Golden Boy. How's it going, you guys? I'm excited for these games. I know you and I have a lot of history with these teams. They're kind of our, our go-to. I know we're sought after these guys, but paint a picture for these folks about what's about to happen. Yeah, so Onslaught and Orbit, these teams have been going at it for a long time. Onslaught is the number three ranked team, according to the community, in North America. Orbit has been, they were at number two at one point and are slowly falling down. So this matchup is really going to determine who is going to take that three yeah. spot. But both of these teams have gone head to head and it's really a mixed bag on who comes out on top. Most recently, Onslaught came out on top in this week's Rocket Royale. So, and that was three to two. So that was very close. I honestly don't know who is the favorite going into this one. I don't think either of us know who the favorite is, but I can say this is going to be the most hype match of the night. I'm calling it right now. Like This game is going to go the distance, I assume. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Expect these guys to put on a show. Yeah, and again, just to, to kind of harp on what Gibbs was saying, Hot Wheels Sid is going to be the key player here. You definitely, know, he, definitely. He, he, and he reminds me of my old teammate, Sir Pancake III. You know, when <laughs> he was on fire, right. then... Us as a whole unit were just so cohesive and unstoppable. And I feel like Orbit is much the same way. So we'll keep an eye on Hot Wheels, Sid. And kind of on the other side of the pitch, or on the onslaught, the player to watch is Husky. If he's gelling well, you saw he didn't get a ton of touches earlier, but the touches that he did get were critical in Onslaught getting those goals. So keep your eye out for Husky going on the wall, denying clears, and getting those assists. Man, I can't wait to get into this, guys. Here we go. Kickoff going to be between Onslaught on the orange team and Orbit on the blue team. This game cannot get any more intense. James Bot, I know you're ready. I know <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. Yes, and this is to get into the group stage. So a lot on the line here as Hot Wheels Sid goes for the kickoff. All right, we got Espion already taking this ball down to the outside. He has the ability to take a play on this, but good rotation by Zanziaki, putting this back in. Classic is reading that very well, going up for another aerial, playing that back into the middle, and Hot Wheels Sid actually is going to get this one. Taps it with the top of his car, able to play that back in, but good contest by Classic, playing this back into the blue zone. Yeah, Zane looking for some boost, not able to get it, and actually misses that clear. So Hot Wheels is going to have to rotate in uh, on the defense here, but this is a good counterattack opportunity if Gino can get that out into the mid. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not able to, and that pinch is actually going to go back. Luckily for him, he's got Zane Jackie following up behind him. Able to make a play here. Pops another one into the middle. We have a chance, and Espion waiting for it nicely. But Zane Jackie with another pass in the mid, and just, oh, Zane not able to get that touch perfectly for Gino. And Gino's able to play it off the side. Ball's played back up into the corner. They have a chance, but this ball is looks like it's going to settle down a little bit, take a little bit of a slower pace here. Yeah, there was a little bit of a misplay uh, by Sid there. He, th saw, he thought Gino was going to get it, so, but still... Uh, oh no, Hot Wheels Sid coming in the, in the middle, zone. just barely missing that one. So close. Yeah, uh, Husky's trying to lead this counterattack here. This is the first time that they've uh, started in the threaten, but as you can see right now, uh, actually Classics did get the block here, but still a lot of ping-ponging back and forth. Yeah, Husky flying up high on this one. Luckily he's got his teammate behind him. Espion's going to pop this one back in the middle. Actually gets a weird oh. redirect. Husky, oh, just missing just far. Espion trying to do whatever he can to put this back in, not able to do so. Zane Jackie now with the blue squad in this Orbit team, trying to push this out. They need a big clear to collect some boost. You can tell they're starting to be a little bit low on that. Boost starving be such an importance here. Yeah, this is an opportunity off the backboard if Zane hits it. He does get it out of the way, and that's a poor touch, so now this is gonna put Orbit on the counterattack. Yeah, Hot Wheels said now fly through there. Zane, if you can another touch, it's gonna sneak past not one, but almost two, and Zane Jackie up already. This is the thing that we expect to see out of Espeon. I'm not seeing it just yet, but Espeon's generally the high flyer and the first one to meet this ball. Yeah, and oh, oh you can Gino see, got with oh. a shot. Man, good read. That's a big thing. Big clears are going to be the oh, trouble the here. The demo yeah, set the it up because that was going to get cleared. Zane just continued to hit that ball out into the mid, and Gino Cop threaded that right through. But really, Zane was the catalyst of that play, getting the demo, denying the clear, and then getting that ball right over to Gino for the goal. Definitely showing for the crowd. We got Gino flying through the air here. Husky there to pop it back in. This one's in the middle. It could be a 50-50 game. Zane Jackie actually going to win this one. Plays it back over to the other side. We have another pass coming in from Hot Wheels. That ball's going to sit in the middle and nobody there to follow it up. This ball now taking a high fly. Luckily for them, they've got Gino Cop there to play it back out. And Hot Wheels Sid's going to have some time with this. Let's see how they take it. Zane Jackie, seeing if he can do some dribbles. Going to pop this one up for his oh. teammate and gets red by Classics. 
good job on this orange team coming out of Onslaught, showing that defense is not their only specialty. Yeah, and you can see Classics accidentally getting a demo here. This might be a good play, uh, an opportunity, but no, Zane shuts that down. Right now, we haven't seen a lot of threatening opportunities for Onslaught. Orbit has really been setting the pace. Oh my this god, one. this ball falling right in the middle, and Espeon, good read, playing that back out to the outside. They have time to touch us in. Genocop able to take the hit that he needs. Still being a nuisance, it gets punted out of the way, but Hot Wheels sit there to follow it up. This ball staying about the 50-50 mark, seeing if they can do something with it. Zane Jackie plays it back into the corner. We now have the opportunity for Husky. Husky going up, gets read by Sid. Sid plays this back into the far side. Oh. Gino Cop missing a shot yet again, needs to get those on point. Giving themselves a chance, Zane Jackie pushes it back in the middle with Gino Cop waiting, gets a chip over the goal, they get a goal. Oh, that crossbar, oh, no. but Hot Wheels sit there to follow it up. What oh. a beautiful shot. Heartbreak for Onslaught in front of the net. You can see here that Zane gets that out into the mid yet again. A touch from Gino really just adds chaos. And you can see Classic and Husky just ran into each other as Hot Wheels Sid came in and just had a dagger. And now they're up 2-0. And, and honestly, with the way that Orb has been performing this game, it seems like Onslaught uh, is, is in trouble. I know Gibbs and I were talking behind the scenes a little bit about how much they've been kind of in that rough pass. Oh, oh my gosh, Husky. Stopping everything, man. Husky, what a beautiful shot. Playing that off the top of the car to play, generally oh, feather that one in there. Oh my goodness, you saw Espeon dribbled that up, and Husky was up in the air before Espeon got that second touch, which put it right into him. That type of passing is the type of passing that separates amateur teams from pro teams. Very, very well said. That's something that comes with experience. It's showing some experience here with these rotations. These guys are coming out back and forth. A lot of ping pong action, as we call it. And this ball's going to settle right in front, but Husky there to follow it up immediately. Has a chance, but yet again, getting red. These guys need a big clear. This could spell trouble. And Zane Jackie contesting that perfectly. Ball's going to center in, and Hot Wheels Sid just missing to the top left. Has an opportunity now to play this back into his team, but it looks like Espeon's going to try and take it. Gets overtaken by Geno Cop. Geno Cop with a good dunk on him. Has the ability to take this, and Husky giving themselves a chance to clear this out. Yeah, you can see uh, Gino Cop did get that save there. That would have been a really tough situation. You can see they're just trying to keep it out of the hands of Onslaught. Just about a minute left to go. Onslaught starting to come alive a little bit, and uh, a minute is plenty of time for them to make something happen. Yeah, 55 seconds left in this ball game. Hot Wheels said going for a Spider-Man hit. Gets it, plays it off the side, follows it in. Ball gets popped back in. Z oh, Zane Jackie almost had a big clear, but good read by Husky. Keeping this on the side. Zane Jackie with another tap. Has the ability to redirect this one in. Gets stopped by Classics. Classics doing some good blockage there and trying to do what they can here. Hot Wheels is going to play back to his teammate. Ooh, I don't think Geno Cop was ready for that. And Classics has the opportunity with Husky there to get that in. And good clear out by Sid. This ball still not in the safe zone yet. They have to get this out of here. 30 seconds left. This ball popping up into the corner. This one's going to fly in the middle. Espeon taking his time with it. He's going to feel side flip, though. And this ball elevating up, still in the air. 15 seconds left. Hot Wheels Sid flying through, seeing if he can get a pass oh. to the outside. Oh, and Zane Jackie just barely missing that one. Yeah, Husky broke that play up. That was going to be a goal. And now 10 seconds left. They have to make something happen right now. This ball going down to the field. Gino Cop and Espeon matching each other. Gino Cop seeing if he can put this in. Just needs to keep this ball on this side of the field. Ball seeing if they can center oh, it down. Oh, it's still up. And it's still up. They have a chance. Needs to pop oh. it. And Zane Jackie, good read playing that back out. Yes, in Rocket League, the game, it doesn't matter if it's zero seconds. The game is not over unless or until that ball hits the ground. And you can see there such even shots and saves on Orbit's and Onslaught's part almost nothing separating these two teams and we're getting right back into the action orbit up 1-0 and looking very solid really having the momentum and controlling the pace of that game life coming into onslaught in those final moments but orbit still looking to be the stronger team man that trap at the end there has got to be some good confidence not letting one slip by let's see if they can hold on to that victory espion and geno cop geno cop flying oh, man. that ball's going to pinch real hard has a chance husky sending that back in can we get a tap in and hot wheels still trying to go for an inverted hit not going to play to his favor espion automatically up right away going to play that over has a chance a geno cop what a beautiful save yeah that was a, a critical save you can see there that both teams uh, almost getting a break, and that one could be a very bad bounce if somebody's up for orbit. Oh my gosh, Gino Cop, just like you called, fly through. Oh, and Nusky swiping that one out of the way. This ball is still centering down. The pressure coming out of this Onslaught team is not the match for orbit. Orbit seems to be doing it just as well. Flying through the air here. This ball is going to play the corner, and good rotations coming out. But Husky trying to do something, see if he can pull it up, but Espeon's going to be the one that takes it and plays it back in. Good tap by Zane Jackie, playing that back out of the corner. Needs to get a clear though here. Yeah, you can see now finally some pressure coming up from Onslaught. 
Uh, and a big win there from Hot Wheels said good defense, but that one, oh, that one was an opportunity to get that ball out into the mid. Unfortunately, not working out and still four minutes left, scoreless. Uh, again, barely anything separating these two teams. Man, it's good to see some back and forth between these two teams, not only in the air, but also in gameplay. Geno Cobb, good touch though here. See if he can get another pass, gets a good flick. How is gonna pop that back up, see if he can carry this in. He's gonna drag that all the way, and Classic's there to pop it back up in the air, but Zane Jackie gonna meet that up. Oh, that one's gonna win. land in front, and oh my god, oh, Sid! Classics. So close, Classic's with a clutch save, and Geno Cobb throwing his body. Oh my god, these guys are going relentless on this ball. Seeing if they can put this one in here, and they might be able to take a sit down. Sid trying to put this back in. They're throwing so many shots. Ironically, between the two teams last game, though, there was only a one-shot difference, but you're seeing this Orbit team step it up. Oh, man. Classics just <laughs> is the only thing keeping Onslaught in it at the moment. Save after save, and that's something that we see him do all the time. Great saves off the wall, but really just the defensive plays there keeping this even. Man, you're not going to see a post be the MVP of this game. These shots are on point, and Classic's doing whatever he can to make this 0-0. We've got three minutes left in this game, and that shot's going to hit. He has a free shot here, seeing if he can pop it up. Oh my god, maybe the crossbar is going to be a factor, and this ball gets knocked back out. Luckily, he's got Zane Jackie there. They're playing that back in the middle. Where's that third rotation? Oh Zane, my. oh my god, Gino Cop. Beautiful shot. These rotations are amazing. Yeah, you can see Zane just keeps the ball out of orange hand. And look at that touch by Hot Wheels, Gosh. Sid. It completely psyched Classics out. Classics thought he had time to go and get that boost. And that pass, that, that redirection of the ball, just popping it up perfectly for his teammate to get that shot on net. Very, very good play coming out of orbit. Man, if you guys thought I was kidding about these being the best hype matches of the night, here we go. Still 238. We're just about halfway through this game. Still more to come. And beautiful oh. pass. That touch coming out from Geno Cop played perfectly in the middle. That's what we like to see. That is good mechanical play. Yeah, Orbit just starting to heat up. You saw there two players getting beat from that pass into the mid. And Hot Wheel Sid knocking that one down, scoring that second goal for Orbit. Really, Orbit taking this one by the horns. They want to make it into group stages. If they take this victory, they will indeed punch their ticket into the group stage. Here he goes. Oh, Zane Jackie not getting the read. Good rotation coming out of Husky. Easy touch, but one of those things, we joke about how much these guys are good. This takes a lot of practice. Shots like that hitting that top corner of the ball into the far post, yeah, putting Zane, it out of reach for everybody. Zane knew he was in trouble, and he was trying to get back as fast as he can. Husky was the one to score in the last game, trying to get him back into it, and it didn't turn out well for Onslaught, so we'll see if they can flip the script on this one. Husky just being a predator in the back, waiting for his chance. Man, these guys putting pressure on this team. So crazy. They are not called Onslaught for a reason, but they're trying to make that thing for a point. How we'll sit though, coming through, this ball is going to level up, and Espan, of course, the first one up there to get it. But Zane Jack is oh. going to big clear. Oh my gosh, they can rotate this out here. Zane Jack, you're going to play this back in. Classics trying to wait for it. Ball gets popped backwards. Zane Jack, you're going to pass it back to his teammate. Oh, trying to get a pinch though. We see that more and more often. Yeah, no, that, that. Play. Oh my gosh, that oh. ball off the crossbar. Husky just barely missing it. <laughs> trying to do that same thing he did in the first game. Yeah, but the crossbar Sid. is very important. And oh, oh my god, how was it? What are you doing? How are you? Oh, my the dribble. Goodness. What a shot. He did it. Oh, oh my. my god. Gibbs, you better say sorry to Hot Wheels because he is playing phenomenally. Look at that play. Just breaking axles. Hot Wheels Sid is saying, Orbit, guess what, guys? We're going to make it into the group stage. Man, no better statement than that one there. Showing some mechanical skill, showing up Gibbs, saying you couldn't even have saved that one, but that ball's going to get shot back in. And Zane Jackie trying to put this back into the corner. This ball's going to get shot right back in by Husky. They have an opportunity here. This ball possession needs to stay on this blue side if they're going to give themselves a chance. But High Wheel Sid doesn't want any of that. Espeon and Classics, good that touch. ball's going to level. Sitting in front of the middle, and High Wheel Sid, good play back outside, but played right back in immediately. Unfortunately, that ball hits on the opposite side, and these guys need to get it clear here. You can tell they're starting to run low on boost. Yeah, you can see just struggle coming out from Onslaught. It seems like Orbit is always getting to the ball first. And you see yet again, right as I say it, Hot Wheels Sid beats Espeon to this ball. And so it seems Orbit oh just no, getting there. Oh no, that ball's going to roll into the side. That could have been a quick goal, but that ball's still in the middle. And Hot Wheels Sid, just like you said, these two are battling it out and that's an easy float. Oh are they going to take it? Oh my gosh, Hot Wheels Sid, what a good flick. Yeah, you could have let that one go. Everybody man. throw your toppers into the stadium. That's a hat trick for Hot Wheels <laughs> Sid. Zane just popping it out right for him and Sid guaranteeing it. This one, it already seems over, but why not get a couple extra goals when you've got many thousand people watching? Hey, man, insult to injury, man. And you do whatever you got to do to look good on this camp. 
but look at these guys. They're playing relentless. Good sweeping motion by Hot Wheels Sid. He is doing whatever he can to make his team guaranteed that they're going to be in this final part. But let's see what they can do. There's still time. 38 seconds left. All Classics. classics. Same position. We saw that on the previous end with a small touch playing that back into the inside. Good yeah, follow-up. Very big win. And actually, Husky was the one who made that play happen. You see there that I, it looked like Zane was trying to go and, and fight him for that ball in the corner. Husky or actually re redirected that one away from him. Just got a beautiful pass out into the mid. And Classics, really just a walk in the park to put that one in. Yeah, I mean, I got to say, the pressure between these two teams at Geno Cop with that read, doing whatever they can to keep themselves in this. And it's just... It's not that any one team is playing bad. Oh. It's just these guys are back and forth. They're getting outmatched in the air. And this pass, with some pressure, going back to the outside classics, just trying to hit it up. That could be scary and spell trouble, but Sid, oh, just going a little too high on it. Luckily for them on this onslaught team, Husky's there to follow it up. This ball getting passed right back in the middle. We got nine seconds left. Ball getting contested. Husky trying to pass that back up. And Zane Jackie going to play this back in. This ball can settle any time now. This is the game. Oh, my goodness. Yep. This ball is no still No hope up. left, and that is going to be it. We have the very first team moving on into the group stage. As soon as they let this ball hit, you see Hot Wheels Sid with a little <laughs> bit of a celebration. They don't want it to end, man. They don't want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am sure that Onslaught wants it to end so they can go on and have their shot at the loser's bracket. But my goodness, guys, they are really good at keeping that ball up. <laughs> and there you have it. Finally, oh my gosh. Orbit is the first team to make it into the group stages. We have our first team. Awesome to see these guys. Really a great story. We'll let the analyst guys talk more about it, but the Orbit team, even for the Rocket League Central Pro League, coming back. These guys, their story's awesome, coming all the way from open qualifiers, getting into the playoffs, and now making their way through the RLCS to do the same thing. Really an awesome series. Man, I'm glad I said it and prefaced it like that because that was some hype stuff. That was really, <laughs> really good. But rather than have us talk about it, let's shoot it back to the guys at the analyst desk where they can really pick this apart. Thank you guys so much. What a matchup there. Congratulations to Orbit. They are the first team to make it to the group stages. That means they're one step closer to competing for that Massive prize of seven, uh, prize pool of seventy-five thousand dollars. So just uh, again, congratulations to those guys, and also too, I just wanted to shine some light on the Orbit organization. I've actually known the Orbit org for many years. Uh, they've competed in numerous games from Halo to Call of Duty, and it's really good to see them have a great Rocket League team that has made it into this uh, into this group stage phase. So congrats once again, guys. But let's break that down. Uh, I, I do want to talk about game one with that uh, with that demo that actually opened up a, a, a potential goal there that came through. Uh, that was Gino who got the goal pick. But uh, Zane Jackie, man, he set that one up wonderfully for him. Uh, Zane Jackie, that was a great play. He uh, demos here and then goes up the wall and lands on this ball, which is really hard to read. Perfect pass to Gino Kopp, and He just has to put that one in. Hashtag never lucky. Always skill. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been skill. Like, Gino Kopp is uh, one of the strongest players, I think, coming out of this match. He yeah. was everywhere. The passes from him were unreal. Everything from him. And the, the good thing I like to see, too, is uh, off the bat, we had Onslaught playing a very high aerial game. And oh, it, looked like, it looked like t uh, Gino Kopp's team were just putting everything low. And that's what allowed a lot of these goals to go in, is they kept everything low. Yeah, game one was all about passing. Uh, all three goals were scored by insane passes. Like right here, uh, them bouncing it back and forth, then off the crossbar, and Hot Wheels just has to put that in. That was actually was a beautiful goal there. Uh, just the movement off the wall was, was so impressive. Uh, again, that's one of the reasons why Orbit was able to take game number one. But then moving on to game number two, a statement was made by, uh, by our casters. You, you, you <laughs> apparently owe... How will said an apology? I do. I'm sorry, How will said this entire weekend. I'm like, I'm going to trash him when we get on here because he's <laughs> been inconsistent lately and Orbit has faltered a lot these past two weeks. But I'm really happy for, uh, for that org because they were the only team that came out of the Pro League that had all three players uh, remain the same. So this is the only team that had confidence in all three members to uh, play it out. Like, the only member that I saw them... Trying to replace maybe was Hot Wheels Sid because of his uh, inconsistent play, but he was Mr. Clutch here. Oh, they came they came out strong. Like, yeah. The the synergy was flowing way yeah. better than than Onslaught was, and I think that's going to be a key point to, to keep Hot Wheels Sid on the team. To oh, be honest, sure. they, yeah. the, the, some of those passes, one of the goals I think happening, uh, I think it was in the first one was was insane. Like just the back and forth, oh, all yeah. three of them Gino were part Cap. of it. Gino, Gino, look Cop, at this man. dribble right here with Hot Wheels Sid. 
Oh, breaking axles. <sighs> oh, when he when he did that, that was just filthy. I had to take a shower after that one. Yeah, man, that was because, icing on the cake. Though. Yeah, I know. I went really quick, bathed, and came back because I felt <laughs> just so filthy after seeing Hot Wheels Sid just absolutely dribble that one to, to, to glory. Um, but yeah, so good stuff there. Geno Cop too, man, is just another really strong showing from him. He's really been a rock for that team. Uh, Hot Wheels Sid though, I think eyes will be on him going into group stage. Mm -hmm. As you said before, inconsistency can oftentimes plague him. So, you know, group stages, you're gonna see him match up against a lot of these top teams over and over again, so that he could, you know, so that they can get those points, of course, make it to the online final. So I think there is going to be a magnifying glass on him. What do you think, Gibbs? Uh, yeah, I think Hot Wheels Sid has just proven, though, that he is ready for the top stage. And he looks really good. Like, Zane didn't do a lot, like, in this set, I thought. Like, I thought it was mostly Gino and Hot Wheels Sid. But he didn't have to do anything because Hot Wheels Sid was just on fire. Oh, hands down, especially uh, I do want to touch back on that dribble. It's just the just the mentality and the awareness of where the opponents were, um, baiting out the you know the attack on that and then being able to dribble around. Those two players were so on fire that they didn't need really a third. But having that support there allows you to be so aggressive, mm -hmm. knowing that someone's going to be there to clean up a mess if there is anything. So that's why I think some of those shots came out because they had someone like Zane to to support them like that. It was a great showing there for Orbit. Congratulations to them once again as they make it to the group stages. But coming up next, we have another team who's going to look to make their way to group stages. That team is I Buy Power Cosmic. Will they be able to do so? Find out on the other side.